Alright, so I promised to do a little video on how to quickly set up Simplify 3D to do multi-material printing. Um, on the Discord forums for the Crane Quad, I posted my tool settings that I have here. And I'll post the link to it somewhere else. Let's see. This just sets up the extruders as tool 1, 2, 3, and 4 that I'll be using inside of Simplify 3D. And you can come in and make adjustments to that, change what colors you want to come out of the different tools. Right now I'm just doing a tool per color. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and import this model that's already broken into multiple STL files so we'll just bring this in So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to set up some processes based off of what colors I want to color specific parts of the model. So I'm going to set up a process for black. I'm going to come here and make sure I have black set for the extruder and for the infill as well. Uh, depending on your material, you'll want to go through and set your temperatures and so on and so forth. Um, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we can add another one and I'm going to add some blue here. So we'll call this one blue and we'll make sure to pick the blue extruder and we'll use blue infill for that so that it doesn't go through a color change unnecessarily. All right. So now that we have this set up, we'll just do two colors for this go. Um, you need to come in here and select the models that you want for whatever color you're going to color them. So it's very important that you don't select the same model twice because you'll end up with a, a weird overlapping situation that won't print right. So let's do the cockpit and the wing tips and let's do the trim or actually let's do the engine as black and then for blue we'll come over here and we'll do the body and the trim uh, this is a little big so Let's go through and quickly scale all of this really quick just for the sake of printing purposes. All right. And when we go to print, it's going to ask us what processes we want. We're going to select everything. This will build out. I have the waste block configured and you'll see the model here. Now to make sure that you're actually getting color, the best thing to do is to do active tool head. When you do active tool head, this will show you what colors based off of the extruder. So tool one and tool four, which would be my, my blue and my black and what will be colored what. And that's about it. Alright, 